Yeah, so this BMW is overheating. It's a X5 E70. Um, this is the message that um, came up on the, on the dash. Um, the fan is going crazy. It went into limp mode, not going no more than five miles per hour. So um, I'm going to use this car, my Carly app to diagnose a problem or try to diagnose a problem to see what exactly is going on with it if it's um the water pump or what it is so um there was no leaking there was no antifreeze leaking from anywhere there was no antifreeze um coming out of the um expansion tank so it there was no leaking there's no overflow and it is just overheating with this message so um let's see what's really happening with this car yeah so once i connected my carly up i went to live data data and i select live data and i do continue and then um i could select the different um things that i wanted to to check so i'm gonna go to um I can go to engine temperature to see what temperature the engine was because this car doesn't have this car doesn't have the temperature gauge here so I can check it on this to see what was the um, engine temp temperature So once I did that, all I had to do was click run, start reading, and that is the engine temperature right now. Um, I could change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then I go to parameter. Um, I can go to water pump. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to W. Water pump rated speed and water pump rated speed is zero. Um, the water pump rated speed is the speed that the water pump has a maximum speed for. It's rated is how fast the pump can be can spin, and that is two hundred and fifty RPM. Electric temperature, water pump electric temperature, rated revolution target, voltage. Now I'm going to see the voltage to see if there's any voltage. And the voltage is there. So this is saying that um, there's current going to the water pump. And I'm going to try another one, which is the is this something about actual actual water pump speed. So it's showing you that the water pump is not working. There's no water pump rated speed and there's no water pump, actual water pump speed. But there's voltage going into it. I was gonna check the um I was gonna check the the fuse because I was the, 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 um, the, the manual said the fuse is under the, the passenger side um footwell under there and, and the fuse box under there is a number 47 fuse for the water pump and it's for a few other stuff but um i was gonna check the actual fuse but based on what this is saying it is saying that voltage is there but there and now i'm gonna check the water pump actual water pump um there are two water pump speed read both of them saying the same thing none of them and the voltage is still there I'm gonna do one more, which is the water pump electric temperature. This 
is a revolution actual difference zero 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 so everything that is suggesting here that the water pump is not working what i noticed just now i shut the car off and then i restarted it and then i realized that the the the, the pump came on just for a minute it actually spins just for a minute and then it cuts out see the pump 1532 it's actually spinning right now 46 and then it stops yeah so this is the water pump kit it has the water pump with the thermostat um, the entire kit um, the kit has um, the thermostat water pump the, um, the coolant and the mounting hardware for the for the thermostat and water pump so you have the screws like right here you have the screws you have the thermostat and you have the water pump and, the, and you also have the the coolant so this is what the entire kit what you're gonna need and this is the water pump for the for this car which is the um it has the four zone so um this one actually has the the content of the kit right here it has um the the bolt with washer genuine too, the antifreeze genuine, this is BMW. You have the thermostat, which is not the genuine one, but I guess it's another German one. The water pump aluminum screws, they are also not genuine. And then you have the actual water pump itself, which is the genuine part. So this is the OEM part. So um, this is, this kit is, 584 when i called the bmw dealer it was 900 and change so i rather buy mine here it's gonna take a little while longer to get it i could get mine at the bmw dealer today if you're in a rush you go to the dealer i'm not in a really in a rush so i'm gonna buy mine here and it's gonna probably take me like four or five days to get it so i, I can work with that so this is where I'm going to buy my stuff and this is what I'm going to use to replace um, my water pump. So in the meantime, I'm going to just remove the water pump from the car and um, I'm going to do that in a separate video, removing and in reinstalling, replacing the water pump. But this is just, I just want to show you guys how I diagnosed it and how I located the parts. As you can see the other parts number right there. This is the manufactured part number. And then this is a part number on the website. Yep, the manufactured part number and the part number on the website.